Paul Dillard. Professional bodybuilder, entrepreneur. From Montreal, Canada, Paul Dillard is a retired professional bodybuilder and entrepreneur. He is also the founder and the CEO of the world renowned WBFF. Beginning his journey as an outstanding football player, Paul first took on weight training in the late 1980s. During this period, he began carving a physique of greatness, this physique, for which he was later nicknamed the Freak Einstein, brought him his pro card in 1992, only one year after his first competition. By 2006, Paul took part in 40 competitions, finishing among the top three in 15 of them. Some of his best results on the stage were winning the 1999 Night of Champions, finishing fourth at the 1994 Mr. Olympia, and being the runner-up in the 1996 Ironman Pro Invitational. Paul officially retired from professional bodybuilding in 2012. This is his story. Athlete Statistics Full name, Paul Dillard Weight Height Nationality Profession 295 to 310 pounds 133.8 kilograms 140.6 kilograms 6 feet 1 inch 185.5 centimeters Canadian Professional bodybuilder, entrepreneur Alias Era Freak Einstein 1990, 2000, 2000, and 10. Accomplishments. Competitions. 1991 North American Championships, heavyweight, second. 1992 North American Championships, heavyweight, first and overall. 1993 Arnold Classic, fourth Ironman Pro Invitational, fourth Mr. Olympia, 6th 1994 Grand Prix England 4th Grand Prix France 2 2nd Grand Prix France 1st Grand Prix Germany 2 1st Grand Prix Germany 3rd Grand Prix Italy 2nd Grand Prix Spain 3rd Mr Olympia 4th 1996 Arnold Classic 3rd Grand Prix Czech Republic 3rd Grand Prix England 3rd Grand Prix Germany, 4th Grand Prix Russia, 4th Grand Prix Spain, 2nd Grand Prix Switzerland, 2nd Ironman Pro Invitational, 2nd Mr. Olympia, 5th San Jose Pro Invitational, 2nd 1997 Arnold Classic, 6th Grand Prix Czech Republic, 6th Grand Prix England, 4th Grand Prix Finland, 5th Grand Prix Germany, 4th Grand Prix Hungary, 4th Grand Prix Russia, 5th Grand Prix Spain, 4th Ironman Pro Invitational, 5th Mr. Olympia, 5th San Jose Pro Invitational, 5th 1998. Mr. Olympia, did not place. 1999 Night of Champions, 1st Mr. Olympia, 7th 2000. Night of Champions, 2002. Night of Champions, 6th Southwest Pro Cup, 8th 2003. Grand Prix Hungary, 14th 2006. Montreal Pro, 10th. I treat you the way you treat me. I don't care if you are white, black, Chinese or whatever the hell you are. If you are a good person, you are a good person. If you are an asshole, you are an asshole. I judge people as individuals, based on the character and how they treat me, not by the color of their skin. Biography Early Bodybuilding Journey Born to a French father and Jamaican mother, Paul Dillett was encouraged to take part in regular sporting and physical activities from an early age. Before he started his bodybuilding journey, Paul was one of the best players in the CFB Canadian Football League. It was this sport that helped to establish early foundations he later carved his physique upon. By 1991, 
Paul gained a lot of interest in bodybuilding, as he said it took over him. He stopped playing football, and started going to the gym, inspired by legendary bodybuilding figures such as Gary Stratham, Tom Platts, and Lou Ferrigno. The reason my delts are the way they are is because I have always wanted to have delts like Gary Stratham. Also, who doesn't he love Tom Platts? Driven by his inborn passion for weightlifting, Paul began to notice quick changes in the shape of his body. His progress was so striking that he began considering to compete in a bodybuilding show, soon, this thought manifested itself into reality. Competitions and Pro Card His first competition came in 1991, at the North American Championships. As an outsider, Paul wowed the audience when he heard his name called out as the runner-up in the heavyweight category. However, this was just the beginning of Paul's competitive journey. Only one year later, he took part at the North American Championships once again, this time taking home the overall first place title, and also, his pro card. First pro competitions, and the accident. Paul made his pro debut in 1993, at the Arnold Classic, finishing in fourth place that day. In his Mr. Olympia debut, which came in the same year, Paul took home sixth place. In 1994, Paul experienced an accident while on the stage at Arnold Classic. During one of his poses, Paul froze on the stage, this happened as a result of cramping from water retention and dehydration. Later competitions After the incident, Paul took one year off the bodybuilding stage. He came back in 1996, finishing in third place at both the Arnold Classic and Grand Prix in the Czech Republic. During the 1996-2006 period, Paul competed in 29 shows, his most significant results were the victory at the 1999 Night of Champions, and the fifth place at the biggest bodybuilding competition, the 1997 Mr. Olympia. Alongside these results, he also took home numerous runner-up places. Some of them were the 1996 Grand Prix Spain, and the 1996 Ironman Pro. Retirement from Competitive Bodybuilding Paul's last competition came in 2006, at the Montreal Pro. However, he officially retired from professional bodybuilding six years later, in 2012. During his professional career, Paul was featured in some of the most famous bodybuilding and fitness magazines, articles, and covers. Turning to Business After his retirement, Paul turned his focus to other areas of his life. He became an entrepreneur, opening his personal training businesses. In 2007, he became the owner and CEO of the World Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation WBFF. Training Training twice per day In his prime, Paul worked out two times per day, hitting big muscle groups in the morning, or at noon. He would get up at 8 a.m., do his cardio, and then eat his first meal. His first training session usually began at around 12.30 p.m., after which he would have a big meal, and a protein shake. After three to four hours of rest, he would come back to the gym, train the smaller muscle groups, and do an hour of cardio afterwards. This was a typical day in Paul's life as a professional bodybuilder. Workout Routine Paul didn't he have a typical weekly training plan. Instead, he trained for four days in a row, and rested on the fifth day. After that, he would repeat the process all over again. This is how it looked like for him, first day, shoulders. Second day, quads morning hamstrings evening. Third day, chest morning, arms evening. Fourth day, back. Fifth day, rest. Nutrition. Paul always loved to keep his diet simple. This is what he said, 
I keep it very basic. Nothing fancy, rice and chicken, and I throw in a couple of steaks in there. Everyone knows that I drink a lot, I am a shake guy. Some of his preferred protein sources were Chicken Egg whites Fish Steak For supplementation, Paul only took whey protein on a regular basis. Multivitamin, fish oil, and fat burners were only taken in his competition preparation phases, when his diet was more strict. Idols and influences Paul's favorite bodybuilders were Gary Stratham, Tom Platz, and Lou Ferrigno. Paul admired the accomplishments of these athletes, and their incredible physiques. What we can learn from Paul Dillard Since his childhood, Paul Dillard had a champion-like mindset. When he played football in the Canadian Football League, he did everything he could to be the best, and excel at the sport, the same was for bodybuilding. He always worked on improving his physique, and posing, never giving up on his journey. What we can see from Paul's story, is that nothing beats hard work. Be willing to dig through the dirt like Paul did, and you too may accomplish your ambitions in life.